This is Mina Barsoom with CDOCS and welcome to the tip of the day. In today's tip, I want to focus on cement retained abutments and dealing with a common issue that we see in a lot of our workshops. So typically when you split your restoration, you may not get the most ideal uh, design for the axial walls of your cement retained abutment. So if you notice here, there's these little wrinkles at the base uh, near the margin, and it can be difficult to remove those and correct them. So if you try using the scale occlusal, it can end up making it worse. Uh, sometimes we try using the scale radial and it ends up not correcting it exactly the way we want. So rather than fight with the software and go and try to smooth it or use some of the other tools, one of the techniques I like to use is going to the scale occlusal hole and pulling the entire abutment up. So I'll pull it up until those wrinkles are gone. Um, even though I know it's probably going to interfere with the final crown, I'm just going to eliminate the wrinkle and then to make the abutment shorter, I'll use the smooth tool to make it shorter and give myself the clearance I need for the veneering structure. So nice simple tip here to use, just use that scale occlusal scale hole, raise the entire abutment up until the wrinkles are gone, and then use the smooth tool to dial back the incisal portion of the abutment. So hopefully this was a helpful tip for you and you enjoyed today's tip. We look forward to seeing you again soon in future videos. Take care.